Kevin, that was quite an afternoon, wasn't it? Both on and off the pitch. Yeah, I think uh, obviously the news come through. I think just before kick off, wasn't it? Which yeah. you know, I think hearing the crowd was yeah, give everyone a boost as well, giving the, the players a boost going into the game. And you know, we started ever so well, and the bit of quality that we have with how we work that side of the pitch sometimes. Um, and Coates got in the box, which we asked him to do as well. So, no, pleased to start that, and then just a bit sloppy in the game um, in terms of some basic errors, and, and we didn't play enough and passed the ball well enough. I think got into a, a bit of a second ball game and a regain, and we weren't brilliant at it. Um, so disappointing, obviously, to concede, and you know, good character, come back to score for a set piece. Okay, we'll come back to the uh, yeah. what happened before the match then, uh, just a short while. But the match itself, yeah. you put yourself in a really good position. You say they're disappointed to uh, be level, but uh, you know, Blues never know when to give up, do they? No, no, and I think that's, you know, it's a characteristic of this team that they always keep going, and um, you know, we're well worked set piece, which is nice to score off as well because um, we work hard on them, and I'm pleased for Ralphie, you know, yeah. to because yeah, he's, he's a brilliant pro and, and does everything right so yeah nice to go in 2-1 up um, and then it was it wanted to make it more comfortable and you know there's a couple of instances we could have done let's talk about one of those incidents yeah. right uh, in a, I don't know what it was but in the second half you had a massive opportunity when Henry Sandat back with South United got through in on goal and the goalkeeper seemingly to me I called it on air brought him down yeah it's the most blatant penalty you'll ever see I think and I think in the fourth would probably agree from the angle we had I think what I've got fed back was that the ref thought the keeper got a touch if that was the case why is he giving a goal kick yeah. so, so relief it didn't matter in the end that was no, that, yeah, but, genuinely. But, but for Colin making yeah. a couple of brilliant yeah. saves they do matter so it's big decision get them right you know everyone everyone in the ground thought it was a penalty apart from one person so disappointed with that and Henry's had a chance as well that he's got to do better when he's got to score you know I don't like trying to flick it over the keeper put it in the net and get the game done how pleased to bring him back though Henry Sander yeah pleased because listen he's someone we lost in the summer and he's gone to a, a championship club and good luck to him but I do think he misses playing men's football and I think even in the short period he's on the pitch you can see that you don't get the intensity that you play at, at men's football um, so I think this will be important for him and it's important he comes back with the right attitude and um, and earns the respect to the lads which he will do because you know he's a great lad and, and they all love him in there and you know, it's nice to have a centre forward as such a, a traditional one yeah. that, to come on. How big a moment for you to hear the news that the contracts have eventually been signed and Blues, the takeover, will go ahead? I think everyone in the football club, I think, you know, too often we haven't focused on football and this, and this team and let's put them first now, let's put the football side first and, you know, everyone that's gone above and beyond really to get this done, I think that's pretty obvious. Um, you know, the people coming in that have done that um, and committed to something way before this has happened, if you want. Um, so I want to concentrate on the football team. This yeah. is, you know, these boys are, are giving absolutely everything and we've got to focus on the team and um, and hopefully you see the fans at the end, um, how much they like these players as well and we've got to get them help, you know, and, and look after them and, you know, let's give them as much support as we can. How draining has it been? Because it's been ongoing for so, so long. Yeah, like, there's things you deal with that it come and fall at my desk that it shouldn't come at my desk. But it's, I think it's everyone at the football club as well. Yeah, um, yeah draining like you wouldn't believe. Um, but you know, hopefully now things go put behind us and we can work properly and you know, in a positive future. You've been around Southend for so long. I've been around Southend. This is a big, big moment, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, I hope so. You know, let's. You know, it's hard to put into words right now. You know, this is for the fans and for them to get that news and to win a game. You know, and going into Christmas, I mean, you know, what a lift for them and for the football club and, and everyone connected with the club. And probably more importantly as well, I know in the uh, statement, you know, maybe the transfer embargo could be lifted early next week. That's a big moment as well. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's something, listen, we've gone over 15 months through that, which is like, it must be a world record because, and to be competitive, like, honestly, I keep saying it's a miracle. Yeah, it's an absolute miracle that we can still come here and do that with no recognised forward on the pitch as such with three on the bench one on the bench last week and to win football matches like we, in all to, you know sense and purposes we should be down being relegated not being competitive in the league and that's a testament to the players and um, you know it gives us a good foundation to build from Are you good to go when that transfer embargo does eventually get lifted? Yeah but we, there's nothing can be done before obviously the the next fixture um, but it's 
we've got targets obviously but you've got to enter in negotiations now and you know hopefully they can be done and I think it's important people don't just get fixated on oh bringing five players bringing the right players anyone can sign players and you know we've been as I say in embargo for 15 months and we've watched player after player after player go yeah. and we have a WhatsApp group that every time it goes we go there's another one there's another one so in that respect it's difficult um, and getting the right players at the right time obviously is important and it's not as easy as people think especially Christmas period as well you know the people are reluctant to let players go and um, I think it's important we just I know fans want to see players some players come in there's players in that changing room who have gone to the to the well again and you know let's focus on them and what they've done and, and support them again going into the next game and for everybody I know everybody around here the club the staff and the players and the fans yeah. this is quite a Christmas present yeah absolutely and they should you know the fans are on the, on the way home tonight can go have a few beers and, and go and enjoy their night out and enjoy Christmas which is a, a huge relief for everyone 